Yeah, so welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can take input from console. Okay, so let's get started. Now, up till now, we were saying about like we were printing some text, some numbers, floating point numbers, and the strings and characters. We were dealing with all the stuffs, right? We were simply printing it. Now, what if you want to ask user to give some information and you want to take that information and use it into your Python uh, code? Okay, now say for example, Suppose I want to ask uh, 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 some uh, my user to enter his name. So suppose I make a use like so for that purpose, we are going to make use of this input function. Okay, so input is nothing but it is a function and which simply says that you are get getting the input from the console from the user. So here I am going to simply ask like enter your name. Okay, so it's basically going to say like. Uh, enter your name on the console so let's run it so it says enter your name okay so i'm going to write here suppose i say xyz okay and give it an enter you can see that uh, nothing got displayed now we know for in order to display something we use this print statement okay so let's go over here and say that uh, we want to print something so i'm just going to say print and this would i will put it inside it okay we are telling a python that uh, you enter this, uh, your name or, or, or the print over this and you print this, okay. Whatever the input you are getting it from the console, you simply print it. So like here, once again, I'm going to write here. So this time we'll write WS cube tag, okay. And uh, it says WS cube tag, okay. So with the help of print, we are actually printing the, whatever the data which is stored inside this input, uh, whatever the data we has got from the console, from the user. So we are simply printing it. So you can the other way you can use it by with the help of variables also as you, we have seen in the uh, how to use variables in the last tutorial. Okay, so simply I'm going to uh, put this in a variable. I'm st I'm going to store it in a variable say name. Okay, and I'm going to simply print now the name. Okay, so I say print and yeah name. Okay, and I'm going to just run it. So it says print and this time I say uh ws cube okay and it simply says that yeah it's ws cube tag okay so basically what we are doing is uh, we are asking the user to input some information into our uh, program and we are simply use using that uh, code of information which we have got from the user and we are storing it into a variable and we are performing some uh, operations on it okay up till now we have not performed any operation we are just simply printing it now let's see how we can uh, perform some operations okay so here we were working with this now let's uh, make it a comment okay and uh, just a second okay fine okay now what if i want to work with numbers okay in this case so i'm just going to write like uh, uh, suppose I want to get these two pieces of uh, information from the user that is uh, uh, number one and number two and I want to just add these two numbers and want to print the result over my console okay. So basically what I'm going and uh, going to do is I'm going to take one variable that is uh, num underscore one okay uh, is equal to an input okay and I'm going to say enter the number one all right and uh, i'm going to copy this code the entire code all right uh, because i'm getting i want to add two numbers okay i'm basically just copying this and i'm going to make some changes over here okay so it says let's say num2 and over here i'm going to say two okay so i'm getting this two pieces of code okay so when i will run this it will ask me for the enter the number one and then it will ask me the enter uh, the number two and then basically what i'm doing i want to add these things okay so i'm taking another variable called uh, result all right or we'll say answer okay so answer okay and is equal to we'll say that uh, add this uh, num one okay this num one and plus num two all right and we are going to simply now print the result the, the answer okay so i'm just passing this answer variable name inside my print okay so basically what it will do 
now let's check it out okay so it will ask me for the number one okay so see i have input 10 okay and it's asked me for the, enter the number two okay so i put again 10 all right so you see it's giving us the answer as 1010 that is not the answer we are looking for okay so basically what happens over here is that when uh, you are uh, taking the input from the user it is taking it as a string so we want to make uh, the python know that it's a uh, the the input which you are taking is not the integer uh, sorry it's not a string it's an in the form of integer okay so we can use this uh, special python function okay and here in the answer uh, this thing answer answer section okay we are going to write here int okay and uh, plus and this is also we want to tell our compiler that it is not a string it's a number all right so now when we will add we are basically telling the python that it's a number okay so see so here here we got 20 okay so this is the how we are making use of this uh, special python function all right so now now suppose let's say we, i will again run this code and this time i will change the input suppose that i give a decimal number that is this and a whole number all right so it gives you an error now what's this error now it says that invalid literals for int so basically what happening over here is that it's not accepting the float okay it is accepting the integer so what why not make this int as float okay so we'll say float and over here also we are making the python say that it may be a float point number as well and this the float variables is nothing but it will accept both the integer as well as the floating point numbers okay so now once again we'll run this code and check it out so i'm going to give now 3.14 and 14 so yeah we got the answer all right so we have studied over here now this thing that in python it automatically converts that into a string okay and you want you need to tell your python interpreter that the input which you are taking from your console or from the user is not an integer it is not a string it's an integer okay so this was all about taking input from the uh, user okay so we'll just quickly uh, do a recap over here so basically what we did is like uh, we took uh, we made use of uh, this input uh, function okay and what this input function does is it simply does like uh, asking the you can take the information of code from the user and you can simply take that and store it in your variable and use it in further in your program and all okay and you can perform even perform the operations on it okay so that's all for this uh, tutorial and see you in the next tutorial